This is a brief recount of the campaign I had removing the gland nut and shock absorber cartridge from a 73240Z front strut casing. Once I removed the spring and upper mount, I first removed corrosion around the gland nut by electrolysis. I submerged the threads of the gland nut in a warm, dilute solution of baking soda. I hooked up a 12-volt battery charger negative to, negative to the strut casing and the positive lead to a sacrificial bar. I let the charger run for about four hours. I then drilled two uh, quarter-inch diameter holes in the gland nut and used a, a gland nut uh, dowel tool to uh, remove it. However, I did need to heat the threads with an acetylene torch to get it glowing red hot before that gland nut would budge. With the gland nut off, I assembled a um, With the gland nut off, the shock absorber cartridge was then revealed to be solidly stuck in the strut casing. I assembled a screw coupling that would act as a wedge to drive apart the two stuck pieces. I used two inch and a half fire hose adapters, one adapter screws into the other with NST straight threads. As the adapters are unscrewed from each other, the lengthening pipe forces the shock absorber to be forced out of the strut casing. To prevent shearing the brass threads of the fire hose adapters, I always maintained at least two full engagements of threads. So after forcing the shock absorber out three revolutions of the hose adapters, I broke the spreader mechanism down, tightened the two hose adapters together again, and shimmed the pipe length about a half an inch. I then repeated the process two or three times until the shock absorber fell out of the strut casing. So there you have the apparatus. This is a, a two inch crow's foot wrench and a pipe wrench. This uh, pipe was cut it was a six inch, uh, inch and a half diameter nipple. I cut it down to five inches. And once I use these shims to move it out to, to uh, accommodate the length of the, the, as the shock absorber comes out, I can switch this over to a six inch until I get a full inch of shock absorber out of the strut casing then I can just use the pipe wrench on this shock absorber itself and rotate it out.